Ooh, what up, chaps? I'm Magical Mike, and welcome to a Halo 3 Legendary speedrun of Sierra 117. This is played on the MCC on PC with mouse and keyboard, and recorded back through theatre mode, and with deaths and checkpoint reverts edited out. The original run took 12 minutes and 36, edited takes 9 minutes 30. So, first things first, kill that marine. We want a grenade. We want one frag grenade, at least. And he doesn't always drop it, and you can't kill a second guy because that'll turn the marines against you. So... If you don't get it, start again. Which is kind of a pain, honestly. It's not entirely 100% necessary, because there's multiple opportunities to get grenades through this, up to the point where we need it. However, I just like to have that one in the bag, so I don't have to worry about it later on. Alright, coming up to the first trick, we want to look at this rock, don't go too far to the left, jump up once, spam jump, I missed it there, spam jump, crouch at the second one, and you'll get up to this rock. Jumping over this, on the right, onto this bit, and onto this tree. Somehow I fell, but didn't trigger the dialogue. So we go back up, back up the tree, losing time, onto this rock. And if that all went well, and no brute dialogue, saying, oh, spread out, happens, then you've just despawned a whole bunch of enemies, which is excellent. So, killing those grunts with the pistol, swapping for an assault rifle, uh, swapping the assault rifle for a plasma pistol, we could be slide jumping down this slope to speed up even further, but I didn't because I wasn't thinking about it, because frankly this was two and a half hours into attempting this run, and I was just completely fried at that point. But hey, that's all gone well. So yeah, like I said, this is an edited run, and it is using the theatre mode. I forgot if there was like a trick to this. Nope. So, you know, somewhat legit, but not really. Anyway, swapping the pistol for the carbine there. Not as great in Halo 3. Anyway, some of those grunts could have dropped grades. If they didn't, maybe this guy on the right could. Look out for jackal snipers. You want to kill them in the trees if you see them. And this guy is always here, so you want to get rid of him. You also, as you're walking towards the right here, hug the wall, wrap around, kill as many grunts as you can, jump up on this crate, up onto this cliff, and hope you don't get brute shot and absolutely annihilated. It happens a lot. Uh, snipers are pretty mean. If you get around here with shields, then you'll get a checkpoint on the left there. There's a jackal sniper on the left there that can completely ruin your day. A lot of stuff can go wrong here, but just hop up here. Most of the time you can snipe that jackal that just ran off to the left there, but either way, just get rid of him. Sometimes there's jackals on the right, they'll ignore you. Throw a frag into the tunnel, charge a plasma pistol, hit the brute, kill the brute, hopefully before all of that grunt death kills you. And if you kill the brute, then cool. All the grunts will just panic and ignore you. Over here, we can jump off this rock and off a rock on the left to skip this cutscene entirely. Also, meleeing will delay a checkpoint here. If you uh, do die in the next section, which is fairly common, then you'll have to re-watch some of that cutscene, which is not so great. So you want to delay it, but don't delay it too much, because you can screw yourself out of the checkpoint completely, and then if you die, you lose even more time. So hopefully that previous brute dropped a bubble shield. If he didn't, maybe this guy will. You will almost always be able to jump over that rock and back smack him. He's almost always distracted by stuff. I'm looking for a bubble shield here, and I didn't get it. Which isn't great. It's certainly unplanned. Also, as I was jumping down, there was a battle rifle and some grenades, which I made sure to grab in place of my plasma pistol. And as we're going through the, the water here, we're sniping those two jackal snipers to get rid of them. They're the only things that can kill us here. Normally there's a turret, a broken turret, in the water here, where you throw a frag, which will uh, allow you to frag jump up onto this part, but I messed that up because there was no uh, no view thing, no, no thing on the ground for me to tell where I was, so I had to use a plasma instead. Luckily that was okay. Looking behind me, because sometimes you get followed through into this section by a gold brute with a brute shot, very bad news, and a bunch of grunts, so it's... It, <laughs> If that's the case, there's nothing you can do, just go fast and hope. You also have to hope that Arbiter spawns in this case, and uh, if he does, he makes this quite a bit easier, because he'll draw some of the fire from all these Jackal Snipers in this horrific section, which eats my time away, honestly. This is one of the least favourite sections of this when I'm trying to go fast. Sierra 117 is a pretty good level, but um, yeah, this section just... I've died so many times and lost so much time to these Snipers. The Beam Rifle guys... Hearing that guy on the on the right, by the way. Thought he was below me. Nope, I think he's this guy in the tree. Mm, there he is. Beam rifle guys attacking Arbiter. Good news. 
So you get low on BR towards this section if you've been firing as much as I have. Uh, you could take the time and be safe, find a beam rifle if there's one anywhere near you from one of the dead jackals and grab that in place of it, because we're going to need to do some long range stuff here. On, I've heard that piece of dialogue a thousand million times and I'm sick of it. So you want to kill all of these jackals in the distance. You also see Johnson in the distance running off, that's important. You want to get rid of these jackals before they get rid of you because you're going to do some dodgy jumping and you don't want to be shot. Oh, also, the carbine in this game, not as accurate as it was in Halo 2, so I'm not a huge fan of it. Killing those grunts, that's important for me because I'm slow at this section. And you go up this foliage, jump, grenade as you're falling down, that's what the frag is for, and we should be able to skip the entire section by doing a frag jump over here. And by pausing and hearing that retreat, retreat, we get a checkpoint. This is nonsense. Kill the two jackals, grab a plasma pistol, kill as much as possible, throwing a some kind of grenade behind me to distract things and then I saw the bubble so I knew I was completely safe. Nightmare section. Uh, that took me about 10 attempts just to get past the, that group of enemies which ate, as you can see, quite a bit of time. But yeah, difficult stuff. If you can get through it then easy peasy, right? Just make sure that you have a plasma pistol at this point. Uh, sometimes enemies can spawn in that little courtyard section that I walked past. If that's the case then I voided my run and just restarted entirely. It was a bad time for me and I couldn't make it. I also couldn't hit that jackal. If you can hit him while you're on the move underneath this section, then great. Otherwise, keep going. Punch that guy. This saved me quite a bit, I think, because he wasn't able to shoot back at me. He was busy jumping around. Luckily, this sniper jackal didn't kill me. And now you want to actually get inside this little room on the right here by breaking the glass. I think you just have to run at it with some speed. Uh, unfortunately, shooting it doesn't do anything, as you can see and I'm having some real hard time getting in there, but jumping in there with some help some from the Brutes and the Grunts, I get through. You want to do that because you get a checkpoint if you do. On the left here, there it is, there. <laughs> you do almost, that's almost guaranteed, because you're pretty safe in here. Now then, that Jackal I didn't kill, there he is. Just make sure you headshot him, jump into here, and save Johnson. Johnson will not be here if you did the previous section with the frag jump too quickly, which is why I said to make sure that you know where he's at. If you're too quick, he despawns and you soft lock here. You're just done, you have to restart the level. But because I was slow as heck, he's here, and I can just do this. No problem. With the impenetrable glass again, and now you get to see how bad my aim is. There it is. Eventually get that brute, kill this grunt, bop. And you're pretty safe in here. Pretty safe until this chieftain sees you and starts coming towards you. Obviously a plasma pistol will stun him but not take his armour off. And then just finish him off with a carbine or by wrapping around him and getting a back smack when he does a specific forward attack. But I just blasted him with the carbine a whole bunch and he's done. Alright, kill another grunt and now it's just clean up. There's brutes and stuff here, there's more grunts, there's just enemies around and you just need to get rid of them. The faster you get rid of them, the better, obviously. Here he's going to do the most amazing leap out of the way of that pistol I've ever seen. Thanks, Mr. Brute, for wasting my time. He's going to waste even further time, too. Now, you can just hide in the back and wait until the Pelican shows up. Here we actually strip his armour and completely miss the noob combo. Noob combo, again, in Halo 3, extremely useful, because Brutes never regen their armour. Miss the Brute. Actually, I hit him in the back of the head and he just didn't seem to care there strange thing. Very strange indeed. And yeah, we're just doing clean up. Get a checkpoint, that pelican shows up, taking out the phantoms. Again, the faster we kill stuff here, the faster everything works out for us. And uh, this brute seems very, very intent on hitting some boxes. And then of course me, he wants to rip my head from my body or something. Not great. Uh, if I had any say in that, I would say no thank you. But the pelican kills him for us and we don't even have to have that debate. Too bad, that grunt almost got away with his life there. If he hadn't have shown his face, we would have just ran off and been done with the level. But yeah, that is everything done. That fight isn't the easiest thing. And that is Sierra 117. Pretty tough start to Halo 3. And uh, join me next time for another tough level in Cruise Nest. See you later.